Hi, Cancers. Welcome and welcome back to Prefer Her Tarot. Well, I love to see that you prefer me. We're about to hop into your reading to see what's going on with you all. We know that the readings are in general. All of the messages will not resonate with everyone. If you all would like to see the person reading with me, all of my information is down below. Let's get into this reading, Cancer. We're going to start off with the overall energy and then we'll go, go into the most important messages for you all. You might be seeing things differently, maybe feeling stuck or um, something slowed down. But let's get into this. Overall energy for the sign of cancer, please, and thank you. It still came out. The hanging man, seeing things differently, maybe feeling trapped, needed to gain a new perspective, uh, receiving enlightenment. Let's see what's, what's happening here. Or oh, Pisces is involved. What's the hanging man? Ten of pentacles, money. Ten of wands, it could be burdens. Or a closing of a burdensome cycle. Please excuse the noise. Hopefully I'm louder than it outside. So we have the full card at the bottom of the deck with a brand new beginning. We have the justice card. So the best thing to do in this situation is to start something new. Take the leap of faith. But um, someone's thinking about long term. Like family, money investments. And the things that you have to do in order to get it. That's what I feel. So, most important messages for the sign of cancer. We have the Eight of Cups, walking away from people, places, things that do not serve you. Um, and we have another card here. Oh, that's not the card that I just showed you. That's the Nine of Swords. So, we have the Eight of Eight of Cups and the Nine of Swords. Walking away from people, places, things that do not serve you. And we have the Nine of Swords, which would be worry, doubt, and anxiety, okay? So, that okay walking away gives you excite anxiety having to leave gives you anxiety the will of fortune is at the bottom of the deck i feel like what sun card energy leo energy i just want to let y'all know it's my birthday week so go ahead show your girls some, some love i appreciate it thank you um the will of fortune energy the sun card energy so hold on you might have been expecting things to turn around this summer or during a season but you feel like it's becoming more challenging to like reach a goal or something like that so let's get more messages for the sign of cancer thank you we have the ten of swords energy coming out so we have three tens coming out here and we have the page of cups energy and maybe there may be a need for an apology i see i see y'all all in your head though level of betrayal like i said it may be a need for an apology we have the tarot card at the bottom of the deck a sudden shift that is eight of wants a communicate some communication that created some type of shift so what's the eight of cups the strength cards you feel like you don't have what it takes in order to walk away you're gonna have to have the strength in order to do so gain your strength and confidence feel like you can't tame the beast within you feel like you always ready to go off on someone maybe that's probably the reason why you're ready to maybe that's the reason why you're ready to walk away or remove yourself Leo energy. So we got the Eight of Pentacles in the in the um, higher friend card showing up too. That's about work, tradition with the higher friend card, the teaching and learning experience. So it's like, what is it that you're willing? You're understanding what you have to do in order to get to where you want to go. You have a, you have a better understanding about something, or you're gaining this new perspective now. What's the Nine of Swords? King of Pentacles. This is about bossing up your money. Securing yourself. We have the lovers cards at the bottom of the deck with the two of wands. Maybe you want like a true love connection in your life. The emperor card. I feel like this is a masculine energy I'm talking to. I feel like someone wants to get more connected to their intuitive side. It could be a Pisces there, but I feel like someone wants to get more connected, spiritually connected. Um, someone's worried about their finances here. And how to secure something in your life. What's the Ten of Swords? The Nine of Wands. Whatever it is. Okay. Ish happens. Life happens. So you might feel but you might be feeling betrayed. You might be feeling like something is all over with. But I feel like it's better days ahead. Don't give up. King of Cups, control your emotions. There you are. The moon card that you are as well. Knight of Cups. Have compassion towards yourself. Something I feel like is coming to an ending. Here, what is uh the page of cups energy? The Ten of Cups, which fulfillment. Abundance with the um, empress at the bottom of the deck. For some of you all, all you have to do is apologize. All you have to do is open up, say I'm sorry, accept an apology. What's the strength card in reverse? So, <coughs> something wasn't what it seemed. Maybe someone spoke 
something I don't know something was off something wasn't what it seemed seemed to be we have the full card someone <sighs> I'm hearing something like you didn't expect this like I, this wasn't expected this wasn't expected I didn't expect it um, we have the uh, the queen I don't know if it was it's a bad situation or not but we have the queen of wands the six of wands four of wands energy with the five of cups this is like recognizing someone's success. Don't be, okay, avoid the energy of jealousy. If you see someone else receiving something that you want, just know that it could be right around the corner for you. That's the reason why you're witnessing it, okay? That's the reason why you're witnessing it. I think you were, maybe someone was like hoping for something, were hoping, yeah, you were hoping for something so badly, but then it hasn't showed up or that, that very thing wasn't for you. And you still have to like wait for something to come towards you or something like that. Whatever. But it's still possible. That's what I feel here. The full card, a new beginning. But it's like you have to be willing to walk away. From what? What's the full card? The Wheel of Fortune. So I'm telling you, things are, it's something about things turning around. It's available for you. We have the Sun card, which fulfillment. Uh, excitement enjoyment fun times seven of pentacles you just have to learn something continue to learn something make um make a decision a clear-cut decision about what it is that you truly want start planting those seeds and watch things turn things turn around for you I'm also getting something like you can't avoid what's to come or something like that. Like someone can kind of can't avoid it or something. Something about can't avoid something. Um let's move on. What is the will of fortune? The Queen of Pentacles. Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. What's the sun card? The page of pentacles and the five of pentacles. I really get it's really giving me the that someone is feeling like someone else is getting what they wanted what you feel like you deserve or someone feeling this way about you what's the advice for cancer i feel like i've been here long enough yeah almost what's the advice for sign for the sign of cancer i feel like i might get oracle for you all six of swords moving on we have the two of wands taking a different approach to get what it is that you want i feel like this is a masculine energy here yes this is what i'm feeling as well because masculine masculine energy especially if it's a person that you want a type of individual that you want you have to be willing to set boundaries make changes in your life in order to get this person that you want because i do know first of all okay i do know with men if it's something that they really want or someone that they will really want they they are willing to change to get that energy or that individual so let's get a message from the um goddess power deck really quickly and then we're going to close this out doesn't matter if you're a woman or a man it is what it is the most important message for the sign of oh this car is stuck in this deck Ugh. Most important message for the sign of cancer. Sorry. Most important message for the sign of cancer, please. And thank you. What would you do? Do for love. You try everything, but you don't ever. So most what's the most important message for the sign of cancer, please? And Thank you. We have Ellen of the Ways patterns. Yep. And then we have Lizy. Well, yeah, Lizy Revelation. Let's read patterns. I might read both. Here we go. Here we go. Have you noticed patterns in your life that lead to positive experiences? Developing positive habits introduces new patterns into the fabric of reality and will support your dreams as they take form in the material world. It takes awareness and discipline to make this happen, but you can do it. It's time to allow the experience of a new ha of a of a new happiness. If you do, Ellen of the Ways, the Celtic goddess of of paths and patterns, will show you a new way to your dreams. All manner of the 
me God is sometimes I'll be like, oh my goodness, what do you want me to say? Why are you having me say certain things? But it's so clear. All manner of miracles are possible. Now is also the time to build bridges across any divides with others that have temporarily separated you. Your path is clear. The way will be shown as you make new choices for your life with the God is known as Ellen of the Ways as your happy guide. So let's read Lizy and close this out because I do want to read the one that was at the bottom of the deck. I just feel called to it. Here we go. And there are moments when synchronicity brings all the elements together for a flash of insights to rise up and you as a glorious epiphany. Whatever was not clear becomes crystalline as an instant. It's as if you are able to simultaneously perceive every facet in a diamond. You know without a doubt that you are on the right track as deep understanding seeks into your very soul. In this moment, change and transformation takes place. Um, take place, and a transcendent moment is offered to you as an extraordinary gift. As an extraordinary gift, excuse me. Now is one of those times. The goddess Chinese Lizzie, mother of lightning, brings revelation into your life with the flesh. She gives you this as a result of all the hard work you have put into dismantling your old self and making space for who you want to become. This is a very auspicious time, Cancer. That was your reading. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments. If it resonated, how it resonated. Leave a like, share all that good stuff. I love you all that love me. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.